The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I had hoped to record this live, but our Wi-Fi sometimes is a little bit wacky here on campus. But it is 2 p.m. on Yom Kippur, and um, so I have been fasting, dry fasting, for, uh, wow, 16 hours now. Really pushing, uh, no, 20, 20 hours now. And, um, you know, earlier today I, I was amazed at how clean everything was. There was a whole lot less garbage. It's 100 degrees out here. If it weren't Yom Kippur, I'd be drinking lots and lots of fluids. And I, I, as I looked in my car and at my apartment, and as I left to go into the campus, it dawned on me that for the first time in a long time, I didn't have a whole lot of garbage. And obviously, uh, I'm not going to be washing my hands today. That's one less burden, right? And uh, I don't know. It, it, it feels like there's a lot of upkeep. Just, just, to, just to be human. The, the fact that you have to eat and then go to the bathroom, wash up, and um, any sort of sexual activity, right? There, there's just a lot of upkeep. And Yom Kippur, for one day, frees me for... And I have, I have a big decision to make, by the way. Tonight, um, at, at the end of Yom Kippur, I have to decide if I want to continue this dry fast for another three, four days until I take the trip to heaven. And I'm seriously considering it because there are people there that I want to visit. Uh, you guys can probably imagine the first person I'm going to visit when I uh, get to heaven. Uh, I'm going to congratulate her for the 125th anniversary of some major discoveries she made, right? And But there are a few other people there, too. And m most importantly, I'll be free of eating, drinking, going to the bathroom. And all the other crap that it that, and I'll be able, I'll be free to, to write some computer games. I'll be free to collaborate with Mary Curry. Uh, we're gonna discover Moscow, uh, stable isotope of Moscovium, and um, life will be great again, right? It's, this is so much upkeep. But um, if I don't make that decision, I go back to eating. At least I'll enjoy my food that much. But I, I'm seriously on the fence about that. Um, one of these days, at the end of my life, I, I plan to to have the end of my life be a fast. I really do, because it's an, it's an easy way to go, it's lightweight, it's low maintenance, and um, it's just clean. You don't have so much garbage, uh, whether it be garbage that you throw in the garbage can or garbage that comes out of your body into a toilet. You just have less of that, right? And um, I had a, a friend whose grandfather was very ill. He was... Uh, 89 years old and he was having incontinence issues and he was having stroke after stroke and he this is something that i often cause a lot of anger when i bring up but i i told him and the rest of his family you know if it ever came to it you could just you could just stop eating i was just at the beginning of my um, eating disorder um, um uh, uh, reform and I was re regularly fasting and i suggested to my friend you know if grandpa ever uh, gets to that state, he, he, could, he could just stop eating. And that caused a lot of anger from, from his family. And so uh, I don't know why, though. He, he eventually died much more painfully than he would have had he just stopped eating in the first place. He's probably in heaven watching me doing Yom Kippur and wishing that he had done this, right? This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.